I've been lucky to practice medicine in the state of Indiana for almost two decades now. So that gives me some perspective of what has uh, changed over time and how I'm able to deliver care for patients in a better and a much more personalized way. Uh, from the times of hepatitis C therapy, interferon-based treatment regimens, uh, the need for getting a liver biopsy, to currently using fibroskin to quickly assess the severity of steatosis and fibrosis. It's been an amazing journey for me personally as a hepatologist. So having access to non-invasive technology such as fibroscan has been a blessing for hepatologists, I'm sure, worldwide. And anybody in general who has to uh, evaluate and uh, um, manage patients with chronic liver disease, um, I think this is the best product that has been available to us. I am a PA or a physician assistant in the um, IU Health Hepatology Liver Clinic. I've been here since 2017. I am nearly a hundred, or started off nearly a hundred percent clinical, um, so seeing a lot of patients week in and week out. Um, and having access to a fiber scan right in our clinic allows me to get very um, immediate point of care and non-invasive information. It is incredibly rare that I have to order a liver biopsy for most of the patients that I see because I trust in the data that's given to me from our fiber scan that's right in the clinic that I can order for anyone before or after or during a clinic appointment. The newer technology, the upgrades have been really fascinating for us. Uh, over time, we have recognized that there are some patients where there is increased probe to capsule distance. And uh, early on, we knew how best to minimize the false increase in the liver stiffness. For example, recognizing a patient with congestive hepatopathy or making sure that there is at least three hours of fasting. But uh, with regard to skin to liver capsule distance, we really couldn't overcome that limitation. The SMART exam was the great uh, upgrade for us. Uh, we were able to uh, minimize the false increase in the liver stiffness. And more recently, the guided VCTE uh, which has definitely made life of our operator much improved. She's able to uh, get the scans done much faster. And uh, we are hoping to see much improved reliable scores based on IQR over median, much lower. I have been an EchoSense operator since 2013. I've been doing fiber scans for 10 years now. And guided VCTE a game changer. I mean, truly, as an operator, it is so much easier to use. It's called guided VCTE for a reason. It guides me to the right spot. It tells me I'm, I'm in a good spot in the liver. There's all those nice guided images right there on the screen for me that make it so easy to see and to know that I'm getting good results. It truly knows when to fire and when to take the pictures, which is what I think makes it so much faster because it's doing all those calculations for me, and, and I love that as an operator. The guided VCTE has been very helpful with our obese patients. Since we've had this technology, since it's been faster, since it's more efficient, we have far fewer patients who we are unable to scan for any reasons, be it a BMI of 10 or a BMI of 50. But since we've gotten the guided VCTE, I would say we do most of our patients in less than two minutes, and this would include the people who have the larger BMIs. At the end of the day, as a clinician, I want a test that is reliable, reproducible, and gives me enough confidence to make clinically actionable decisions. Um, and furthermore, with the um, possibility of having the first uh, FDA-approved treatment for NASH very soon, I would like to have a tool um, that also helps me assess a response to treatment intervention. So I think this is the perfect time and the better the technology, the better um, the guided VCTE is, uh, the better it is for everybody at the end of the day, for the patients, uh, for the physicians, for everybody involved in the care of these patients.